Actually, I'm not satisfied with the way we handle government properties and equipment in the country. Take, for instance, if you, are, if you look at our roads, when the roads are constructed, they are always good. We, we will celebrate. But in the next two, three years, come and look at the road again. Everything is, it, it will be something else. There will be portals, there will be this, and there will be all over the road. Even the street lights will no longer, you see the bulbs are not working again. And that is because we, we lack this maintenance culture in Nigeria. They leave these things to totally decay just in order to allocate unnecessary cash to do them such that they can siphon this cash at the end of the day. Now, so when they are supposed to maintain this, when, they are very, when, the, when the decay is very little, they don't do it. Do you get? So once something is supposed to fix with very little cash, when they start seeing the decay, they don't do it. They allow it to totally collapse so that they can allocate money such that they can, it can benefit their pocket. That's what they do. So maintenance culture is, 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 is basically zero. We pray that we don't suffer dearly for our negligence. Government facilities are poorly managed, are poorly maintained because there are no checks and balances and also because of the bureaucracy nature of governance. Uh, you know, for you to even just get somebody to come and clean the place, you need to get an approval from one director from Abuja. One director needs to send an approval to one, you know. So the bureaucracy process is, is, is really one of the factors that is also affecting uh, the maintenance culture of government facilities. Still ahead, man accused of parliament fire in South Africa, denied bail. Details when we return, please stay with us.